Now, this is an example. If you feel like you need to watch it, you can. It's another equality example. Um, this one is kind of fun. It's written a little bit differently, okay? Um, good luck with this one. Look at the way it's given to you. Usually, we've been listing out the series, but in this case, they gave it to you in summation notation form. But we all know how to interpret the summation, so don't worry. We're saying if we take the sum from starting from 1 all the way to n, we're going to get this beautiful formula here that's going to calculate this for us. All right. In calculus later, we're going to prove this too. It's really cool. But for now, let's actually prove this is true. This formula is true for every positive integer n. Let's prove that using PMI. Okay. So if you need to see this um, series written out, write it out for yourself. So I'm going to write it out for you. This means this guy is just simply this. This series, it's just simply saying 1 times 2 plus 2 times 3 plus 3 times 4, because it's i times i plus 1, which means i times the next term. 4 times 5 plus dot 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 plus, right? Plus i times i plus 1. That's what it's saying it's doing, okay? you got to understand both ways, okay? Again, what's the first step? Why don't you stop the video and try the first step on your own, okay? You're right, it's to verify. First step, verify. Second step, inductive. Third step, conclusion, right? All right. Verify that i equals 1 is true. So we're going to do that. Let's do 1 times 1 plus 1. What is that? That's equal to 1 times 2. That's 2, right? Okay. Let's try it in our formula here. Let's show that it's true for this formula here. 1 times 1 plus 1. 1 plus 2 divided by 3. Let's see if they're true. This is 1 times 2 times 3. That's 6 divided by 3, which is 2. So 2 is equal to 2, so it's true. For this case, I'm only going to show you i equals 1. Um, it's only required that you only show 1. We just make you uh, do more, okay? So i equals 1 is true. So we've verified it already. So we know that this formula is good, okay? So what's the second step? Try to do the inductive step by yourself and then check back with me later, okay? Inductive step. What do we do here? Okay, we're going to let k be any integer positive integer, okay? Uh, and let's let n equals k, okay? That means, what do we have here? i equals 1 all the way to k, okay? Look at the notation here. And that's going to equal i times i plus 1, which means it's going to equal k, k plus 1, k plus 2 all over 3. That's the first thing that we have to claim. Okay, assume this is true. We're going to assume that this is true. Okay, all right, well, let's go to the thing, the inductive step. That means let n equals k plus 1. Let's let n equals k plus 1 now, right? That means we have this. i equals 1 all the way to k plus 1, the next term. i, i plus 1, right? That means it's this, 1 times 2 plus 2 times 3 plus dot 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 plus k times k plus 1, right? That's the last step. That's the last one, right, from here. That's the last one when we just write out the series here. But we're going to add one more, right? We're going to add one more. So I'm going to make that a different color so you see how it's different. So it's k plus 1. We're going to add one more. k plus 1 plus 1. Because it's k plus 1 because we're adding one more all the way to the end, right? So that's what we're going to show, okay? So again, that's going to end up being k plus 1, k plus 2, really, right? Okay? So remember, this came, this was already verified from the first few steps, and we're trying to show that. So you know what we're going to do, everyone? What we're going to do is this. We're going to write our goal here. Let's write our goal. Remember how we always write our goal? Let's write our goal. Well, if we let s k plus 1, right, that's what our sum next k plus 1 is, right? Remember, this is the original formula. We're trying to prove using the left-hand side here that this is true for k plus 1. That means it's going to be k plus 1, k plus 2, because we're going k plus 1, k plus 1 plus 1, k plus 1 plus 2, so it's going to be k plus 3, oops, 3, that's our goal, all over 3. Because we're simply taking this guy here. Let's do that again using this one here. k plus 1, k plus 1 plus 1, 
k plus 1 plus 2, which is this here. This is our goal. We're going to achieve this using this here. And let's do that. And now give yourself, why don't you try it on your own, okay? It takes a little bit of algebra. Again, all this, you know for sure that it's k, k plus 1 times k plus 2 over 3. But you know that this you're going to add one more term, k plus 1 and k plus 2. Your goal is this. Keep your eye on the prize, okay? All right. Well, I'm just going to, you know, try to combine them using LCD, right? So k, k plus 1, k plus 2, plus 3 over 3, so it's going to be 3, k plus 1, k plus 2, all over 3. Okay? I combined them into one fraction. But this looks nothing like this, so I'm not done. Okay, well, I see that we have some common factors of k plus 1 and k plus 2. k plus 1, k plus 1, k plus 1, k plus 2. So I'm left with k plus 3. And I have it all over 3. Oh, I forgot that. Oh, no, I got that, okay? Wait a second, wait a second. Ding, 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 ding. We already got it, everyone. Organically, it just formed. So again, we proved that the in, using PMI, that when you have the next term, the k plus 1, that it does indeed equal that. So now we're done with this, so we have to write a ver uh, third step, which is our conclude. Therefore, we conclude that the formula is true for all positive integer n. Okay? All right, that's it. I think you're ready. Go ahead and try it. All of these fun PMI, okay? Bye, guys.